Hi guys, Rasmus here, and in today's video we're going to talk about how to make your guitar sound tight. Now before we get into the details, if you guys want to support me, uh, then please check out my band, Vital Retribution. I'll leave a link for our latest song, which was released this uh, past weekend, uh, down below. Um, and while you're down there, please also subscribe to my channel, um, that'll really support me. Alright, so today we're going to be talking about how to set up a guitar to sound tight. And we're going to be talking both about a guitar that has a hot tail bridge, like this, and we're also going to be talking about a guitar that has a Floyd Rose. Uh, style bridge because it's slightly different, um, but you can set them off both to to sound great for for playing a metal rhythm guitar like this. So, so what you can hear here is that when I I pick the low strings, heavy palm muting, and then I mute with both my right and left hand, which you should be doing. You can hear that part of the string is, is still ringing out after I have muted. If you listen carefully. And it becomes more apparent if I play like a full chord. You can really hear that there's kind of this sing uh, noise that comes uh, after I have muted. So uh, what uh, is going on there is that part of the string that is up here uh, behind the nut that keeps ringing. So when I strike the strings here, the vibration goes over the nut and keeps these strings uh, ringing out. Um, and that'll ring for a bit of time after I have muted. So that's what you're hearing. And then also on this guitar, which has um, like a Gibson style bridge, uh, where there's also a part of the string here, you can actually also hear this part sound out. So if I turn up the volume, it sounds like this. So this guitar, we have two parts of the uh, string that rings out after we have actually played and muted. So that this part and this part. So if we want to have our uh, rhythm guitar sound tight, what we need to do is we need to move these two parts. So um, we're going to do that with some very simple tools that you all have at home. Um, I really hope you have. Uh, you should have. Um, so what you will need is a pair of scissors from, I think these are from Ikea, um, and an old sock, um, or another piece of old cloth, an old t-shirt or whatever, but I just uh, use these socks. These are kind of uh, a bit thicker, so they're a bit wooly, and I think they mute a bit better. Um, and they are also a bit elastic, which also helps, uh, makes it very easy to fit. And uh, yeah, this is, it's old, but it's clean and it has a bit of holes, so I'm not really going to use this anymore. So what you do is you take your scissors, then you take your sock, and then you simply cut off top of the sock. And I would say maybe around uh, a bit more than one centimeter, or I think that would be equivalent to half an inch or something like that. So we're just going to cut this. And then we can save the rest of the sock for later. Um, and now we have this little rubber band, um, basically, that also uh, has sort of a muting potential um, because it's kind of this fluffy um, yeah, stuff that, that'll really mute the string well. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to then use my scissor again to cut this, uh, this band um, so that I now have this long elastic band of uh, muting material, basically. Um, and sure, you can maybe uh, make it a bit uh, prettier in the, the bottom um, if you want, but this should do just fine. Um, what to note is uh, the, the length that you have here in this direction is going to determine how much muting you do. Um, so, then we take our guitar and we take our little band of sock, uh, black, uh, cotton, whatever, um, and then we're going to place it up here. Uh, on the part of the string that we had ringing out before. So on the headstock, after the nut, um, and then on the back of the guitar, it's elastic, so stretch it out a bit. We're just gonna tie a simple knot. So now this part of the string is muted. If I have a pick and try to, to play some of that again. Here it's much less now. There's still a little bit, but if we just listen to this, you can hear it has, has a really hard time uh, ringing out. So that part is muted now. Now we repeat that exercise and we do it around these strings or this part of the string down here as well. So we just take the next bit of the sock and, and cut off a piece. 
And again, we end up with this band, and we are then going to cut that in half. We then take our guitar, and we then take this uh, piece of cloth, um, that is our old sock, and we just pass it under the strings. If you have a bit of a hard time getting it through, you can just take your pick uh, and, and sort of help it under the strings. Try to not scratch the guitar, but else it should be fine. So now I have gotten it under the strings. So now I'm just gonna uh, pull it together and tie a knot. Um, now, because you have your hand down here, you wanna maybe be, be able to move it around a bit uh, so that it doesn't get in your way. So I'll try and, and put the knot in the, uh, in the bottom here. And then just put the rest of the, the cloth uh, under the strings. So now this uh, part here is also muted. Um, it's a black guitar with a black piece of cloth, um, and maybe it doesn't look that pretty. I hope you can see. <coughs> but uh, for recording, uh, nobody really cares what your guitar looks like. Um, so if we now try again. Much tighter sound. All I'm playing here is just the guitar going directly into my EVH uh, 5150, and just on the red channel with gain at around uh, 10 o'clock, I think. So I'm not even using a noise gate here. You could use a noise gate to get rid of that last and just make it even shorter if, if you really want to have some really tight and really kind of you know, chopped up uh, rhythm parts. I'm not really used to playing this time, but... Alright, so that is pretty much all there is to do for this guitar. Uh, the rest is then in your hands um, and in your amp setting. And again, maybe if you use a tube screamer and a noise gate and so forth, but that's another part of it that, that we may discuss in another video. Um, so now we made this guitar sound tight, I would say, right? Um, now you can tidy it up a bit. You can, again, we have a bit of uh, excess um, cloth down here, so we might get in with our scissors and, and cut off a bit of that if we want. Uh, and likewise, um, on the back of the, uh, the headstock here, we now have this knot. So you want to be able to, to try and move it a bit around, figure out where, where is it not really bothering your thumb when you're playing. Um, and then when you kind of uh, found a good place for it, um, you can just take your pair of scissors and cut off the ends here um, to make it a bit tidier. Actually, let's, let's do that. So now it's uh, sort of out of my way. It's behind, behind the, uh, the loot here. Um, and so it's not really bothering me, and I can play, and it sounds tight. All right, so next up we have this guitar, seven string guitar with a Floyd Rose. Um, so we're gonna play. So it has Floyd Rose, that's cool. But as you may already be able to hear, it doesn't sound particularly tight. So let's test it a bit. Now, so as you can hear, there's a lot of ringing going on with this. Um, again, we have the same concept up here where we have the strings ringing out behind the nut. Uh, so there's this locking nut. But uh, I don't have the locks in now, but even if you have the locks in, then it still rings out uh, after that. So like this. Yeah, and that doesn't sound particularly nice. Um, now, the second issue we have on this guitar is on the back. Uh, I have taken the back plate off here. We have these uh, springs um, that uh, is there for the Floyd Rose unit. I have four uh, springs here. Um, and if I turn off the volume... And now I'm just muting the, the strings here, but I have the volume up. You can hear if I take a pick and I tap on these. You can hear they resonate for quite a while. And because they're directly connected to the strings via the Floyd Rose unit, when I strike the strings, 
I'm basically gonna make start these uh, springs ringing. So they're gonna ring out like this, and that's gonna be picked up by the uh, pickups. So if I play, then you can really then you can really hear those springs. Now, if I try with my hand and mute the springs. And I'm not muting. You can hear it makes a big difference. There's still the ringing going on up here. So we're going to fix both of these. So let's start again. With our trusty old friend, the Mr. Sock. Um, and we'll cut yet another band. Again, around one centimeter or thereabouts. So now we have the band here. And again, we're going to cut it in half. And we'll place it on the top here, um, behind the nut, to, to mute the, uh, the strings up here. So, now we have... It's a lot more muted. You can hear I still have the springs ringing out. But if I try and stop them... We really have a fairly side tight sounding guitar now just with this fix right but we still need to fix the springs in the back so what do we do there well we continue to use our old friend mr sock and now we're gonna cut a larger piece so maybe what two inches so three four centimeters and i'm now going to cut this into two pieces now depending on how many springs you have in your guitar so you can see i have four springs here so I'm gonna uh, use this piece of cloth. I'm basically gonna put it under the springs and mute those two springs here and those two springs here. So I'm gonna need two pieces of cloth. So again, depending on your configuration, you might need to do this slightly different. Again, but the purpose is to mute those springs. So I'm gonna cut it into two pieces of equal size. So now I have these two pieces, um, and if I fold them up a bit, so just fold them one or twice, um, it also depend. Um, it kind of depends on how much space is there between the guitar and the spring actually starting. Um, so try and, and just put uh, the cloth under, and if it doesn't mute the spring, then fold it one more time and put it in under again. So I put it down here in the middle, and then I push it under the springs in the one side. So now I've muted those. And now I'm going to do the same for the other pair of springs I have in here. And for now, test our springs back here, just by striking them again. I have the volume up on the guitar. You can still hear them, but the decay is very quick, so they don't ring out for a long time. So, if we now test our guitar... It sounds really tight. So, I think we can say that with the help of, well, about half a sock <laughs> and a pair of scissors, we have now fixed these two guitars. Um, regarding these springs, there are several solutions for this. Um, I've also seen people put small uh, rubber tubes uh, into the springs before they actually put them on the guitar. That way they're just lying there inside the spring and that then mutes the spring. Um, so if you have some material that is good for that, then do that. Um, there's not really a right way to do it, but the, the whole principle is just to mute these uh, springs down here because they make a lot of noise. Now it will change your tone a bit because I guess especially on old, if you have like an old Fender, then they also have these springs. And it sort of adds a bit to the sustain, right? Because they ring out uh, maybe even longer than the spring or than the string does. So when you're hitting some note, these are actually contributing a bit to the sustain. So by muting these, you might hurt your sustain a bit and the tone might change ever so slightly. But it's not really a big problem. And for me, I play metal. So the trade-off of hang having a guitar that sounds really tight and doesn't you know, ring out when I try to do these uh, tight um, kind of rhythm parts. That's really uh, a trade-off uh, well worth it for me. So that's all for today's video. We talked about how to set up the guitars. Now if you want me to 
talk about the actual muting technique and how to set up the amp and noise gates and tube trimmers and so forth, then please leave a uh, comment below and I may do that. Um, but else, that's it for now. Uh, so again, please subscribe to the channel if you like this content and want to see more of it. Um, and also please check out my band. Uh, I would really, really appreciate that. So thank you guys. Bye.